All right, so let's go back now to our top story. This just in from the IDF saying in part, quote, intelligence from multiple sources we have in our hands indicates that Islamic Jihad is responsible for the failed rocket launch which hit the, the hospital in Gaza. Correspondent Trey Yingst joining us now in southern Israel with what he is learning on all of this. Hi, Trey. Martha, good afternoon. Earlier tonight, there was an explosion at the Al-Ahli Hospital in Gaza City. Reports indicate more than 500 people were killed. Immediately, Hamas came out with a statement blaming Israel. But we understand, according to an Israeli investigation tonight, they believe an Islamic Jihad rocket misfired during a barrage that was targeting central Israel, went up in the air and then landed in this hospital yard, killing hundreds of Palestinians inside Gaza. This is a significant development regardless due to the fact that Palestinians are reportedly rioting in the West Bank and also in Amman, Jordan, outside of the Israeli embassy there. We understand that Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has canceled his planned meeting with President Biden tomorrow in the region. And it gives you a sense of just how tense things are and the information flow of what's been taking place. But the latest information we can confirm, according to the Israeli military, an Islamic Jihad rocket was fired toward Israel. It fell short inside the Gaza Strip, landing in that hospital yard and killing hundreds of Palestinians. Again, that is according to the Israelis. Hamas, the group in control of Gaza, blaming Israel for the explosion. Yeah, we, the Trey, we're seeing stunning scenes from there. Um, everybody at home is watching this video. Uh, you see cars that have smoke coming out of them, people moving bodies around in this complete chaos that is unfolding right now in Gaza. And we spoke earlier uh, to um, Mark Regev, uh, who is a close advisor to Prime Minister Netanyahu, and, and he said exactly this, you know, that, that it would not be a, a target for the IDF. It would have been a, a misfire if, if indeed it were theirs. But he said he wanted to know if this was a misfire on the part of either Hamas or, as you're reporting, uh, Islamic Jihad, which, which now appears to be the case. And it's a very quick turnaround. So I, I'm curious how they identified that this missile had come from Islamic Jihad. Do you have any anything on that yet, Trey? So the Israelis have a variety of intelligence inside the Gaza Strip and above the Gaza Strip when they're gathering using drones and other pieces of sensitive equipment. Just to give you a sense of how often rockets misfire inside Gaza, it's about 30 percent of the time. One time we were in Gaza City in 2019, and Islamic Jihad fired a barrage of rockets at Israel one of them slammed into the building next to ours in Gaza City. And immediately, Hamas and Islamic Jihad came out and blamed Israel. But upon further investigation by our team, it was clear this was a misfire. So this is certainly a plausible explanation by the Israelis. But again, more information will come out in the hours ahead. And we do expect to learn more about what exactly took place and what type of evidence the Israelis have. Yeah. Well, Trey, thank you. I know you, uh, it's been a very long day, and we appreciate you joining us again on this breaking news of this attack on the hospital. We'll see if there's an impact on the next plans for Israel in terms of their offensive. Trey Yingst, uh, always grateful to have you with us. Thank hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.